Hey Ben, my name is Mr. Cruz and today I will be showing you the parts of the clarinet. Now, please make sure you are paying close attention because there are a lot of parts to the clarinet. I'm going to start from the top to the bottom, okay? Now, at the very top we have what we call the mouthpiece, okay? The mouthpiece, just like every instrument, is where we blow in to make the sound, okay? If I flip over the clarinet, I'm going to show you what the mouthpiece also has with it, okay? Now, there's two more parts to the mouthpiece. First off, we have the reed right here, which is what vibrates against the mouthpiece to make a sound when you blow into it. And then, what's holding the reed in place with the mouthpiece is the ligature, okay? The ligature is this part right here that's pretty much where you tighten it and it holds the reed against the mouthpiece, okay? Pretty easy, and I'll show you how that works. Now, as I go further down into the clarinet, we have the barrel, this little part right here is called the barrel that connects the mouthpiece to this next section, okay? And this next section is called the upper section, okay? So make sure you're listening to that carefully, upper section. Now the upper section, okay, has a lot of buttons, of course, but what I want you to focus mostly on is these three little tone holes, okay? These are called your tone holes. Then, as I progress further down into the clarinet, I'm gonna turn it real quick. Over here on the side, we have what we call bridge keys, okay? And they're called bridge keys because they bridge us, or it's like a bridge between the upper section and the next section that's called the lower section, okay? Now, the lower section, again, has tone holes down here, okay? Just like the upper section. So, upper section, bridge keys, lower section. And finally, at the very bottom, of course, we have our bell, okay? And that's the clarinet.